This is a short tutorial on writing percent as a ratio. We will look at whole number, decimal, and fraction and mixed number percent. Recall that a percent is simply a ratio that compares a number to 100. With a whole number percent, you simply write the percent over 100 to make it a ratio. You might need to then reduce the ratio. Let's write 47% as a ratio. We simply write the percent over 100, and you get 47 to 100. Let's write 58% as a ratio. Again, just write the percent over 100, but then you reduce it, and so our ratio is 29 to 50. Sometimes the percent is bigger than 100, so we're going to write 137% as a ratio. We still just put the 137 over 100. This one does not reduce, so we get 137 to 100. Now let's write the ratio 300%. We put the 300 over the 100, and we reduce it so that we get the ratio 3 to 1. Remember, when writing ratios, you do not convert them to mixed numbers, and you do not ignore the 1 in the denominator. You can use a similar method if the percent is written as a decimal. You still write the percent over 100, and then you just reduce the resulting ratio appropriately. Write 94.7% as a ratio. Write the percent over 100. You have 94.7 over 100. Now when you have a decimal in ratio, you have to move the decimals in both the numerator and the denominator the same number of places to create two whole numbers. We move this decimal one place to the right, and it creates a numerator of, 190, of 947. And if we move the decimal one place to the right in the denominator, we have to add a zero, and we get 1,000. So the ratio for 94.7% is 947 to 1,000. Let's write 2.5% as a ratio. Again, we put the 2.5 over 100. We have to move both decimals one place to the right, and we get 25 over 1,000. But that can be reduced, so we reduce it to 1 to 40. What if it's just a decimal? 0.75% same thing. Write it over 100, move the decimal appropriately. Notice we had two decimal places in the numerator, so we have to move both decimals two places to the right. This gives us 75 over 10,000, and that can be reduced to 3 to 400. Finally, what happens if your decimal is over 100? 123.4 percent as a ratio. We do exactly the same steps. We write 123.4 over 100 and appropriately reduce the ratio. Move the decimal one place to the right because there's one decimal place in the numerator. We get 1,234 over 1,000 and we reduce that particular ratio appropriately. It gives us 617 to 500. If you have a fraction percent, it can be a little tricky. In this case, we need to think of the ratio as a fraction and use division of fractions to simplify. So let's first review the division of fractions. Divide 2 ninths by 8 thirty thirds. Remember that when multiplying fractions, actually you use what I call the KFC method for keep, flip, change. We first write the division problem as it is. Then we're going to keep the first fraction the same. We're going to flip the second fraction from 8 30 thirds to 33 eighths, and we're going to change it to multiplication. We can also look to see if there's any uh, cross cancellation that can be done. You'll notice that the 2 and the 8 have a common factor of 4, and the 9 and the 33 have a common factor of 3. So we remove both of those factors. Then, once we have our fractions reduced, we can then multiply the numerators together and multiply the denominators together. 
So 2 ninths divided by 8 30 thirds leaves us with 11 twelfths. Here's another example that involves mixed numbers. We do basically the same thing, but with mixed numbers we have to change them to improper fractions. Then we can apply KFC. So 3, eight, three and 3 eighths is the same as 27 eighths, and 2 and 1 fourth is the same as 9 fourths. KFC gives us 27 over 8 times 4 over 9. Check for any cross factors. We have a cross factor of 9 for the 27 and the 9. And we have a cross factor of 4 for the 4 and the 8. That gives us 3 over 2 times 1 over 1, which gives us a quotient of two thir 3 halves. Remember that the bar in fractions and ratios can mean divide. So we can use division to help us write fractions and mixed number percents as ratios. Write 3 fourths percent as a ratio. Remember that it would start by writing it over 100. But 3 fourths over 100 is really the same thing as 3 fourths divided by 100 or 100 over 1. If we apply KFC to that, we get 3 fourths times 1 over 100. There's no cross cancellation to do, so we get 3 to 400 as the ratio for 3 fourths percent. Now let's write the ratio for 5 ninths percent. Again, put 5 ninths over 100. But recall that that really means 5 ninths divided by 100. Again, we apply the KFC, 5 ninths times 1 over 100. Here we do have some cancellation we can do. Notice that 5 is a factor of both the 5 and the 100. And when we take it out, we get 1 ninth times 1 twentieth. And when we multiply that together, we get the ratio 1 to 180. Here's our next example. 12.5% as a ratio. Do the same thing. Write the percent over 100 and then use division. 12.5% over 100. Since 12.5% is actually a mixed number, we need to write it as an improper fraction in order to divide or multiply. So 12.5 is the same as 25 to 2. We divide that by 100, which means applying KFC, and we have 25 to 2 times 1 to 100. That equal, when we cross cancel the 25s, we get 1 over 2 times 1 over 4, which multiplies to give us the ratio 1 to 8. 12.5% is the ratio 1 to 8. Let's do our last example. Write 123 and 2 fifths percent as a ratio. Same thing. Write the 123 and 2 fifths over 100. But again, 123 and 2 fifths is a mixed number, so change it to an improper fraction, which is 617 over 5, and divide that by 100 over 1. In division, we apply KFC, so we have 617 over 5 times 1 over 100. We have no common factors to cross cancel, so we just multiply and we get 617 to 500 as the ratio for 123 and 2 fifths percent. Now you might recall that the last example on the previous slide also came out to 617 to 500. That percent was 123.4 percent. Well, 0.4 and 2 fifths are the same number. So 123 and 2 fifths percent is the same as 123.4 percent so they would give us the same ratio. Now you should be able to finish the problems for this section.